Oh, look at that. Oh, Does that smell smell, good? Smells amazing. Good. Oh my gosh. I have not had this in a very long time, so yeah? I'm very excited. Please welcome Arya Intavana. Hey! Uh, hey, Matt. Hi. Um, thank you so much for having me, Matthew. I'm really excited to, to be here. I grew up overseas most of my life. Very lucky. Uh, my parents brought me up in countries like uh, Singapore, Bali, Thailand, because my dad works in the hotel business, so I moved around a lot. Uh -huh. Spent a lot of time in France because I am Lao, and Laos is a French colony. So when I was growing up, I would visit family in France. So I had a very international upbringing. I didn't move to the US until I was 17, 18. It was great though, you know, living in different cultures because uh, you get to meet people from so many different walks of life. That kind of influences the work I do now Yeah. because I just love showcasing different people and lifestyles and cultures, not necessarily because of based on race or nationality. It could be a thing like MMA as a subculture or juggalos or porn stars yeah, or, yeah. you know, any. I find, you know, these different subcultures that make people who they are so fascinating. That's why I love looking into them. Yeah. And uh, yes, yeah, so I guess that's kind of my life. I, I've just always loved filmmaking and working in entertainment has been the only thing I've ever wanted to do. Right. So I'm just glad to be able to try and tell stories with the work I do. Um, but what Crystal asked you, and she said I had to like say it in a certain way. She goes, Aria, my king, my desk neighbor. You are such an inspiration. Oh. What drives you in life, in career, in love? What drives you? Great message. Thank you, Crystal. Um, what drives me? It's just, I want to have experiences I can look back on when I'm laying in my deathbed. <laughs> I yeah. can look back on experiences and memories with people, with places, with stories that I can look back on and just know I did everything I could. The fear of regret is what yeah. drives me. I was lucky enough to grow up with parents that just loved to cook, yeah. that loved food, that loved taking my brother and I to places where we could appreciate food like this. So Love that. growing up, I got to experience dishes like spaghetti alla vongole, shrimp cocktail, which, you know, maybe most five-year-olds don't really, seven-year-olds don't really eat shrimp cocktail. So I know that as seven-year-olds, I would have loved this. I would have devoured this and uh, yeah. From all these experiences, what's like one of the biggest lessons you've learned in your life? In this lifetime, we have a finite amount of time. Every experience is worth having. We should never allow the fear of failure to stop us from doing so. You throw yourself into it because then at least, even if it doesn't work out, you won't look back and say, oh, I wish I had done that. Yeah. I just say, hell yeah, to whatever yeah. whatever comes, whatever I want to do, yeah. and I go for it. So right in front of us, we have spaghetti a la vongole. Yes, I think it means clams. I'm not sure. I yeah, I'm it's pretty clams. sure because it's basically just spaghetti and clams, so <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping it's that. Yeah. Where did you first have it and like tell me any kind of stories behind uh, it? I mean, or? I would say my dad, if there was something else he loved to cook for special occasions for us, it, it would be this. Like, I think he'd make it on my birthday, stuff like that. And then of course, many years later, we went to Italy and mm -hmm. I would just eat this all the time there. We went to different restaurants in Italy, but I just kept having more and more vongole. I think there's just something about it. I think it's also so simple. Yeah, you basically start off with about a fourth of a cup of olive oil, so like kind of a good amount of olive oil. Heat it up with some like shaved garlic and some red chili flakes, maybe a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. You cut those until they're a little bit brown, so they're really aromatic and you're smelling both the chilies and the garlic. Then you add in your clams, add in white wine, some good white wine, put a lid on it and let it cook in the chili, garlic, a wine, mm. aromatics until they pop open. The hints of wine yeah. in common combination with like that brininess from the clams. It just coats the pasta so well. And you're gonna kind of let that reduce a bit all together with a little bit extra of like the pasta liquid. You add in the cooked pasta and you just kind of toss it all together. Since there's starch in that pasta liquid, it kind of coats all the noodles and all that sauce kind of comes together and you have like a creamy sauce without having to add any cheese. This is perfection, honestly, truly to me. This is your first time having vongole? Yeah, I mean, I've definitely had like pasta dishes that are similar to it, like in style, mm -hmm. but I've never had like the actual clams with spaghetti, but it's delicious. Oh, look at that. Oh, that smell smell, good? smells amazing. Good. Ah, uh, I love, I love shrimp cocktail. Yay! But it's so easy to make yourself. You made that from scratch? Yeah. Good? That's so good. Just what you need after a long day at work. Yeah, mm -hmm. right? Mm. Is it good? It's perfect, Matthew. Thank good. you so much. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh my God. And then we have right here, we have some Nutella homemade crepes. <laughs> oh, wow. Here, let's see. Ta -da. And so I think they're pretty stuffed, but if you need more stuff, <laughs> I think they're. I, think I will. We'll get you no, more. I, I think they're very. Stuffed. Okay, perfect. And cheers. Cheers, Matthew. Cheers. Thank you for having me. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Can't go wrong with chocolate and beautiful bready crepes, right? It's amazing, Matthew. My nutritionist would be so upset right now. Good. <laughs> that. Enjoy it. <laughs> the, You're video, here. the video's done. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah. video's done. This food was incredible. Thank you so much for having me. So, so guys, thanks for watching. We're gonna eat more crepes and we'll see you next week.
Bye.